Welcome back to another beautiful day in the land of music. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use the copy and paste functionality on the Nord Stage 4. Let's jump right over here. Get right into this video here. We're going to just do a layer and knit on our keyboard, which is going to initialize, get us back to just this raw white grand sound. We can exit out of that. So we did this by holding shift, pressing the layer and knit button, and then tapping all. Again, just a white grand on our layer one. Now let's make a couple of adjustments to this white grand. Then I'm going to show you how to copy this layer and we're going to paste this layer into our layer B. And this helps save time. Let's say you're building a piano sound and you want a soft variation or version of that. This is very nice because I can make my EQ tweaks and stuff to my first piano, copy that, paste that into the other layer, and then make some other adjustments, but using my previous one as a base. So we're going to use that as our example today. So white grand in our piano layer A. Let's come over and turn our EQ on. We've got these just set at zero here. Pull the bass back about negative four. And bring the treble up about four. And then we're going to come over to our reverb. I'm going to take and do just a stage. We'll leave it on stage and do about 3.5. So let's say we're happy with this piano sound and we want to paste this, copy it and paste it into our layer B. So we don't have to make these same adjustments to our other piano. We can use this as a bass. So to copy, all we're going to do is hold down. We've got this button here and this button serves three purposes. The first function is the monitor function and I'll cover this really quick here. We can just hold down on this button without doing anything else and we can twist a knob and what we can do is we can twist like our reverb knob and it doesn't change the adjustment of the reverb but it shows us what that knob is currently set at. Super helpful. If I come over here, I can do this to any one of my knobs here that controls a parameter. And we can see we've got our treble at plus four, our bass at negative four. Again, really quick way to come about and do that. Now, the other function it serves is to copy and paste. So we're going to use that here. We're going to still hold down on that monitor copy, but instead we're going to tap on our layer. And because it's not like a parameter that has a value, it's going to copy instead of showing us the value. So we're going to hold down and we're going to tap on our layer. And you can see here on the screen, it says copy piano A, and then we're just going to let go. So now it's copied our layer A, and then we want to paste that into layer B. So to paste the label underneath the button, you access by holding shift. So we're going to tap on shift. We're going to hold down on the paste button and we can either paste or swap. So I could tap on swap while holding the shift and the paste buttons. And what that would do is I could then tap on B and it would take what was on layer A and move it over to B, but it wouldn't necessarily copy it. The other thing I can do is come back over and choose paste. And these three and four buttons correspond with the buttons on the screen. Then I can, now that I'm in paste, I can still holding the shift and paste buttons, tap on the B layer. And it says pasted piano A to B. And then I can let go. And what that's done now is I've got two layers here and on both of them I have the exact same sound because I copied A and pasted it to B. But now I could take B, I could turn maybe soft on, I could bring in the dynamic compression and if we just take our layer A and bring the volume down, and then we could do the swap. Now what's really cool with this is let's bring both of these up and I'm just going to hold down on layer B and that's going to mute layer B or turn that layer off. So now I'm back to layer A with my brighter piano. And then I'm going to tap on layer scene two and I'm going to turn on layer B instead of layer A. So now just by pressing on the layer scene, I can switch between my regular piano and my soft version of the piano. But 
the EQ and the reverb is the same because we built those on our layer A and pasted them into B. So now, So that is how you copy and paste. Works really well when you're working with layers, especially if you're building, let's say, a synth pad, and you want to then paste that into another program or into one of your other layer slots. You can do that. You can copy, move programs, paste into another program, so it'll hold that copy as you change programs. So really cool and a quick way to grab a layer from another program and bring it into one you're building can save a lot of time. And it's just another way that you can do that without having to you know, save that as a preset and then bring it in that way or build it from scratch. So really nice that we can do a quick copy and paste from this button right here. If you've got any questions, feel free to throw those down in the comments below. I'll do my best to answer them. Thanks for watching. Stay inspired and keep making that music.